it's hard to do on certain matchups. Alright guys, now it's Nine Tails commenting on a Swiss round five match between Battery DC and Bliss. Button warmers are over. Battery DC rocking the JLR tag. I don't know what that's for. I'll ask him later and we'll know. Um, Bliss going his Pikachu main, Battery DC, chic. Looking at arguably two of the three best characters in this game. Maybe even two of the two best characters in this game. I think Pikachu is pretty ridiculous. That quick attack, the fact that Pikachu is just so hard to catch. Battery DC did it though. With that grab. Bliss looking a little not like the best start. You know, got that 59% to 12. And he's getting jabbed a lot. He's getting a lot of. Wow! And a Battery DC actually catches Quick Attack with Bouncing Fish. Bliss goes for the forward throw. Not trying for the uh, up throw down B combo right now. And, uh, wow, the. The one thing about Pikachu is Bliss is working with that uh, Paralyzer Custom today, and uh, that's such a low damage move that it's really easy to clank, and we just saw a clank with uh, Battery DC's Nair a little bit ago. So uh, that was a pretty good setup with the uh, Paralyzer. He got that nice charged up smash, even though it was a weaker hitbox of the up smash. And uh, the game's looking a little more even now. Battery DC not getting the kill yet, so uh, Bliss has been able to whittle his way back up there in percent. Bliss, whenever he's in a rough spot, he just quick attacks, and it works a lot of time. Quick attack's hard to deal with for a lot of characters. Good quick attack to avoid the bouncing fish, by the way, speaking of which. And that up tilt, so good, comes out really fast, covers rolls, people who roll into you anyways, and uh, pops them right up where Pikachu's just like, now I get to combo you. Oh, that back air. Not quite killing yet because Sheikah got nerfed a little bit. And there it is. Bliss may have been aiming for the ledge. He may have been aiming high because he thought uh, Battery DC was going to cover the ledge, but he went onto the stage regardless of what he was attempting to do. And Battery DC was right there with a vanish. And uh, now he's getting some uh, cheek cheese on Smashville. Up on the platform, gets that bouncing fish and puts Pikachu way off the edge at just 26%. Bliss fine though, we're back in neutral. No, we're not. Bliss is in advantage state here. His turn to ledge guard if he can. Doesn't quite get it. I'm trying for those thunders too. Oh wow, and then Nair gets him right out of quick attack. And up air. Battery DC putting uh, getting a big lead here at this point. If Bliss if Bliss finds this kill, he's still gonna be down 51% minimum. I threw that minimum in there just for no commentator's curse, but he started taking damage right then anyways, so there you go. Good DI on Battery DC's part. It looks like he's so damaged that it might be past the point where uh, Bliss can kill with that combo. With that thunder combo, no no setup into it. Tries for the ledge jump, a little slow on the input. That fair takes Pikachu right up into the top corner, but not quite enough. Bliss is not finding a kill in this game. He really needs it, and now he's got a Sheik at max rage. He finally went for a, he finally committed to a kill option, but uh, Barry DC there was there to uh, spot dodge it, and then he finally gets that kill with a dash attack. Pikachu's dash attack is a kill move at those kinds of percents, like for sure. In a way, it's almost surprising you didn't go for it earlier. <gasps> oh, he rolls in, and Barry DC was definitely on top of that punish. Not hard punish, but he got the hit. He's, these nares are working really well at, at uh, boxing out the quick attack, and it's shutting down a huge part of Bliss's game, because like I said, he really relies on quick attack to sort of uh, find his advantages in neutral, and a lot of players here haven't discovered the best ways to deal with that. So it's, it works for him against most players, but Battery DC has got, he just jumps and throws nares. Whenever he does that, it, that hitbox is out for just long enough to uh, 
stop those quick attacks. So he finally gets the kill with the back air. Pikachu really hard to catch, but he does it. Our ADC goes up a game. What's the JLR? JLR is Battery DC's initials. There we go. Churro building a Lunchable. I see him, he's got that, his cheese game is on point. Okay, it's technically not a Lunchable, this just in. Churro is a lunch maker, not a Lunchable. Doesn't sound, doesn't sound like he's abled, but I definitely saw him make a good lunch. Anyways, we got uh, Omega Gamer. This is currently Bliss's favorite Omega based on the fact that he seems to counterpick a lot of people to it. And, uh, this game's looking a little bit more even off the bat. Well, JLR not getting hit by the second hit of Quick Attack and was right there with the punish. Quick Attack doesn't put you through a ton of hit stuns, so when you've got those fast aerials like that, you can definitely punish it that way. Oh, and the Heavy Skull Bash. Custom. We're not seeing Bliss ever actually attempt it to use it for anything other than recovering. And just basing it on how much, in that last game, how much he struggled to find a kill, and how ridiculous of a kill option it actually is, the Heavy Skull Bash. I would think that uh, if Bliss watches this later, he might want to think about that, but commentators curse, he finds a kill. Good job, Bliss. Gets that forward smash kill. And gets bouncing fished right into his own grave. But he takes the lead with 2%. Alright. Oh, so Bliss does this thing that Pikachu can do. It's pretty ridiculous. And I'm not talking about that up tilt string that just happened. Because lots of characters can do that. See, Pikachu is down air, as you see right there. When it hits the ground, it like goes, it like does a second hitbox that like spreads out on the ground. But it also is like really heavy uh, lag for Pikachu. Uh, Bliss uses a special technique. He has his controller set to tap jump on, and it's called double sticking. And he hits up on the joystick and down on the C stick at the exact same time. And it uh, he short hops and it buffers a um, a down a down air. And what this does is it actually lets him do a frame perfect down air. And when Pikachu does a frame perfect down air and a short hop, he actually has no lag. There, see like that. The down air comes out and there's no lag as he hits the ground. So it's a really good Pikachu technique and it, uh, it presents a good short hop aerial option to Pikachu because it covers a lot. It's moderately safe on shield and uh, all this other stuff. No lag, so it's, it's easy to commit to. And Bliss likes easy to commit to options. That's why you see all these quick attacks, I think, and not as many smashes. All right. Pikachu at the higher percent. Both these characters seem to have been struggling with kills, but we got that dash attack. That's how he got his one kill before. Oh, and a good run back. That was a very good um, dash dance. Not dash dance, but you know he uh, he did that reverse. Uh, what do you call it? Fox trot. He fox trotted left right. And I uh, got the grab to punish the uh, get-up attack. Happened a long time ago because I talk slowly, but that's what happened. And a trade. Ooh, wow, that was so risky. If Battery DC had not charged that and just released it, that probably would have been the end of this game. And the Vanish kills. Battery DC is going to take it 2-0. Good games, both players. Oh, my God. That's so bad. 